right here in Brasilia, which you probably learned about in architecture class, an entirely planned city. Millions of people live here, and it's only 60 years old. Where the presidential palace, peacocks and ostriches wandering around the grounds. The building uh, you see behind us is the place where we interviewed just about an hour ago the president, President Bolsonaro of Brazil. So one of the things we talked about was the crime rate here. Brazil is famously dangerous in its cities, and until recently, it was one of the world's most dangerous places. In 2017, the country recorded its highest homicide rate in history. Then, when he took office and two years later, Bolsonaro did something that, in the United States, he would have been criticized very strongly for on CNN. He loosened Brazil's gun restrictions. He made it easier for people to keep firearms in their own homes. So what happened? Did people go crazy? More mass shootings? No, the country became a lot safer. Under Bolsonaro's gun policy, homicide rates in Brazil have dropped by 34%. Last year, Brazil's murder rate fell to its lowest level in 14 years. Eduardo Bolsonaro lives here in Brasilia. In fact, he is a member of Congress. He received more votes than any member in the Brazilian Congress. He's also the son of the president, one of his closest advisors. He joins us now. Eduardo, thanks so much for coming on. I should say you're, you're quite an outspoken person here in Brazil and quite a famous person for our American viewers who don't know that. Uh, tell us the effect of the gun policy. Yeah, the gun policy here, the president, he didn't change the law, but he changes the regulations. What made the access easier and cheaper for the Brazilians to buy a gun in Brazil. So what happened is, is not only that we reduced the number of crimes, it was the biggest drop ever in the history of Brazil in murders rate since 1980, when we started to have this misery. So Brazil is safer, thanks God, because of this policy. And if you look here in a neighborhood, in Venezuela, for example, it's forbidden to do trades, to sell and buy guns since 2013, and Caracas became the capital that is the most, uh, uh, the number one in the world when you talk about murders. So Brazil is much in a better shape nowadays. So we've seen this in country after country. The left comes to power, they disarm the law-abiding, criminals get to keep their guns, and the murder rate goes up. Is that what the left has in store for Venezuela if they win? Yes, sure, yes. Especially in Brazil here, this new, this very strong gun control law that we have, and I usually say that it's not a gun control, it's a gun restriction. It started in 2003. And since then, they promised to us that the number of the crimes would reduce. But in fact, is year after year, we had a new record of number of murders. So for the first time, like in decades that we are looking again, year after year, the murders coming down is now since 2019, when Bolsonaro took office and he started his new policy about, about the guns. If your administration loses this next election, do you believe the new administration will ban civilian gun ownership? Sure, yes. There is no doubt about that because former president and former <laughs> prisoner Lula, he's talking about that openly, that he'll take back again all of the guns that Jair Bolsonaro, like during the Jair Bolsonaro administration, was sold. So he will do that. Amazing. Align with China. Adopt their domestic policies. We've seen this. We've seen this before. Eduardo Barcelona, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Doctor.